In today's video, we are going to look at some amazing runs that you can use for jazz piano improvisation. Everybody always seems to love these videos because they give you such fantastic material to use for improvisation and beyond. Oh, and if you're new here, please consider clicking subscribe if you want to make sure you add all of these wonderful ideas to your vocabulary. And also, I've got a brand new course coming out very, very soon. It's called Jazz Piano Evolutions. And I am so excited because I think that this course is going to be on the absolute cutting edge of modern improvised piano and music in general. If you want a really amazing systematic approach to learning many of the techniques that you may hear some of the most modern players play, some of the greatest players of today, but that you don't actually know how to really learn and implement into your playing, then this course is 100% for you. I'm so excited to share it with you and share all the information about it with you. So if you want to be one of the first to know, make sure you are on the wait list. There's a link in the description. With that said, let's jump into this video. All right, check this one out. So this one's really fun. This one's basically taking a little melodic pattern that takes us from G major to B flat minor. And I actually love this sound. But the way we get there is a little interesting. So we're doing G major, F minor, C. And I really, really love that little progression right there. So that's part of what makes me love this run. It's almost half compositional, right? And it's also just great for working on your technique. Now, part of why I'm showing you this though is not just to give you this one thing that you can use in this one context, right? Especially lately, I'm really trying to give you specific exercises and runs and vocabulary that also is going to help you with a specific skill. And so I wanna explain that to you. In this case, this one is great because you can really adjust it or use the method that might have actually led to its creation to create your own. So we're doing G major, F minor, C major, B flat minor, right? Well, let's just take something else. How about this time instead we do F major to D flat major to A major to F major, right? So we're kind of going down in major thirds. All right, so here we go. And now it almost sounds like its own composition, right? It's a totally different thing. So this is amazing for composition as well. All right, our third and final run is gonna look like this. So this is a really, really cool one. For me, again, this is almost like we're diving into some compositional textures here. So here's how this one works. G major, A major, B major, A flat major, and then we go down to F and repeat the pattern. But we could keep going, right? So next we'd start on E flat major. and it generates this really, really interesting sound. And we can actually take this and repeat this with other tonalities, right? So far we're just doing major. We could use a similar sequential pattern and change it to minor, for example. And so on. We get a totally different sound. Now, hopefully you learned some really useful concepts here. I love these specific runs slash licks, whatever you wanna call them. I think they're really beautiful and also really unique and interesting. But of course, the best part of them, the beauty is what you actually do with them after. Now, if you do want to go way deeper into the entire concept of actually integrating vocabulary and having a really great step-by-step -step system for it, make sure that you jump onto the waitlist for my new course, Jazz Piano Evolutions. I am looking at this and have worked really hard to make this an absolutely revolutionary course at the cutting edge forefront of modern jazz piano and improvised music. It's going to have some really fantastic concepts in it and I'm so excited to share it with you. Click that link, get on the wait list. Oh, and by the way, if you like the sound of these and you actually want to learn more beautiful arpeggios just like this so that you don't miss out on any other opportunities for composition, etc., I will link you to another video right now. All right, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.